Let's rest before we go back to Suo. All right. We're going back to Suo, but they think we're rebels. When we get there, do you think they'll send the National Defense Forces or the OSF after us? Even if we do get caught, who says we won't be able to make a request to see the Chief? We'll most likely get our personalities rehabilitated before then. I thought about it, and I think it might be best to say we want to see my brother right off the bat. Yuita, that's bold. I'm sure they know we've been all over, learning secrets. My brother takes the Sumeragi name seriously. I think he'll want to persuade me to join him. Now that I'm branded a rebel, he might expect me to come crying to him. That's crazy. I'm almost certain that he's waiting for me. All right, but we should do what we can to prepare for a confrontation. Yeah, I know. I sure do hope Kaito hears you out. It'll be nice to get some new information from him as well. There's probably many things we still don't know. I agree. And he is the head of the OSF. So it is safe to say that he knows just as many secrets as the counselors. I guess if that's the case, maybe it is worth trying. What is it, Wataru? No, no it, it's just... I was thinking of ways I could support you from here. Anyway, don't worry about it. Okay, keep up the good work. All right, let's head out to Suo. A state of emergency has been declared in Suo. Civilians should evacuate to shelters immediately. What's going on? There aren't any soldiers. No, they're just hiding. This whole area is surrounded by the National Defense Forces. They're waiting to ambush the rebels. But something isn't right. They're definitely planning something. Even if it's a trap, all we can do is go straight in. Let's head to the OSF headquarters. Someone's coming this way. Is that... Hey, Yuito. I missed you. Nagi? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> Just hanging out, you know? I'm here to clean the rebel filth out from the great new Himuka! Is it new Himuka's plan to make us fight Nagi? I won't do it! We don't need to fight! Nagi, run away with us! We'll find a way to undo the personality rehabilitation. If they can just change you like that, there must be a way to change you back! What? I can't go now. The fun's about to start. I'm gonna kill you and rip out your brain! Brain? Maybe he's ordered to get Yuito's brain. What? Hey, Yuito. We're friends. You'd do me a favor, wouldn't you? Give me your brain! <laughs> he's so strong. This isn't just personality rehabilitation. He's received some kind of power enhancement. Damn! Why? Why is this happening? Do we have to fight? Feel free to stand there if you don't want to fight me! I'm gonna cut off that ugly head of yours either way! Nagi! You are gonna try to fight back, right? And I want to see you struggle. Make it more fun for me! <laughs> I feel the power coursing through my veins! It feels so good! Use my power when you can't anticipate the chakra's movement. 
Loki's power is rapidly increasing. Any hesitation could be deadly. I won't let him kill Yuito. We're gonna stop him with everything we have. Loki told me that he wasn't suited to use bias. It might have been attached, but no thought given to the negative effects it may have on the brain. That's awful! Oh, ow, that hurts! Damn it! Yeah! He's a human being! Come on, you You! I'll kill you! No, not yet! No! Stop! Stop. Shut up! How do you like this power? Nagi, what's the matter? Over a second. His brain is under a lot of stress. There could be something wrong with it. I must try. Oh, no, no! Some help, Luca! Just focus at this rate. Regroup. for us to fight shut up shut up shut up I'll kill you I must have your brain what's wrong uh, no shut up don't tell me what to do stop stop you eat Uh, uh. What? 
What is this? Why am I? <sighs> Nagi's brain. This is horrible. Yuito, you can't move him. Wake up. Uh, Yuito, I... Uh... Nagi, you... Are you... yourself? Sorry. I didn't know what was happening. The voice said I had to kill you. Don't apologize. It's not your fault. It was all the people who did this to you. I didn't want to fight you. I tried to resist, but it hurt so much. They told me to kill you. That they'd kill me if I didn't. I was so scared. So I couldn't stop. There was nothing else I could do. Every time he resisted, they sent him to personality rehabilitation. How can they be so cruel? I'm fine, so don't be so hard on yourself. You don't have to be afraid of their threats anymore. I'll fight with you. <laughs> Yuito, you're so... How did this happen? We were always together. Ever since we were cadets, we were finally OSF. In Seto Platoon, I thought we could still goof off together. I... I have to apologize to Captain Seto, but it's too late. <laughs> I thought that when I died, it would be more heroic, you know? Going out in a blaze of glory, fighting another. Look at me. I'm no hero. Tell me. How did I... How did I... mess everything up so bad? Hey, Yuito. If... I was gonna die either way. What... What should I have done differently, huh? <laughs> Naki! Oh, Naki! <laughs> You weren't wrong, Nagi. It was the country that did this to you. They're the ones to blame. When I didn't know what to do, you were the one who suggested we join the OSF. I said I wanted to save people, but I couldn't even protect you. I'm sorry. I will avenge you. That's a promise I can keep. Yuito? I'm fine. I hate just leaving him there. Yeah. We'll take care of him later. We have to go see my brother. He's a government official. He probably had something to do with Nagi waiting here to ambush us. No way. You think Kaito would use Nagi to get at you? I don't know. Either way, we have to meet. The National Defense Forces are surrounding the path to OSF headquarters. They haven't given up on capturing the traitors. They're probably no match for you, but be careful. Oh, and Yuito? Take it easy. Thanks, Wataru. All right, let's head to OSF headquarters. What's going on at OSF headquarters, Wataru? Wataru, do you copy? Huh? Oh, sorry. You can keep moving, Yuito. 
Something's up with him. No one in front of OSF headquarters. There aren't any OSF or National Defense Forces. What's going on? We haven't run into any interference since we got to headquarters. They must have ordered everyone out. The only person in that room is... Chief Sumeragi. So, he's waiting for me. Just like I thought. It'll be difficult supporting you going forward. Do your best talking to the Chief. You mean, the network's going to get cut off? No. I'll tell you why later. Just do your best. Got it. We'll do. Everyone ready? Here we go. Kaito. I figured you'd come by. Yuito? I wanted to talk to the new Himuka government about Seiron, so here I am. I figured since you're with the government, you'd listen to me. Your safety has been assured for that purpose. I assume you want me to remove your status as a rebel? Before we get into that, Kaito, there's something I need to ask you. Was it you that sent Nagi after me? What if it was? <coughs> How could... Unfortunately, he failed. We gave him so many enhancements, yet he was still a failure. Don't say that about Nagi! Yuito, I know how you feel, but... It is awful. But you must hold yourself back. Why, Kaito? Why did you do that? What did Nagi ever do? He knew about the secret of metamorphosis, so he was rehabilitated. I'm sure you know all about that. He was the perfect subject for testing power enhancement on an OSF soldier. Also, he was exactly what we needed to tame you. That power of yours. New Himuka needs the special gravikinesis power you have. I thought you'd be open to the idea if we used your friend, but you really are irritating. You did all of that to Nagi just to get my power? I wouldn't have needed to do this if you had just done what the government wanted. If you had come to me as soon as you were branded a rebel, I could have taken care of it. You've always been like this. You do whatever you want, without listening to my advice. You don't act at all like a Sumeragi. That's why Father never told you. Tell me what? That it's our destiny to fulfill the wishes of Yakumo Sumeragi. Wishes? <sighs> It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. Does it have something to do with the moon? Yakumo Sumeragi was one of the first colonists from the moon. Where did you learn that? In Togetsu. We went to Togetsu and found a lot of information that New Himuka is hiding. You went to Togetsu? So that's where you disappeared to. I already told you I want to talk. If we don't stop Togetsu, New Himuka will... There isn't a single piece of information that comes out of Togetsu worth trusting. Don't tell me you've been brainwashed. Who are you calling brainwashed? We looked into what we learned in Togetsu, and we think we can trust it. Silence! You were just seduced by them without knowing Yakumo Sumeragi's noble purpose. I'll teach you some real history. We were sent to Earth, our motherland, in order to reduce the human population on the moon. Not only that, 
They created the Extinction Belt and sealed the colonists on Earth. What? The Extinction Belt was created by the people on the moon? Now you see just how diabolical the moon is. After much hardship, Yakumo Sumeragi created New Himuka and came to a decision that someday we would destroy the Extinction Belt and attack the moon. We inherited Yakumo Sumeragi's will, and we must exact our revenge on the moon. Revenge? That's what Yakumo wanted? Yes. It is our destiny to fulfill the Founding Father's wishes. It is that very reason Nuhimuka exists. Now you see what it is you must do, what your duty is as a descendant of Yakumo. If we use your gravikinesis, we can move the extinction belt. The time has come to open the path to the moon and get our revenge. I don't have that kind of power. It's possible. If you connect to all the citizens through SAS, even if it's just a normal person's brain, with thousands, tens of thousands connected together, your brain functions will expand exponentially. By connecting so many psionics, Nuhimuka's military strength will increase rapidly. Connecting civilians to SAS? Ridiculous! Only psionics can endure that kind of pain. Whether or not they can endure it is of no importance. The only thing we need are their brains. Actually, it would be best to eliminate their pesky personalities. And personality rehabilitation technology makes that easy. Stop it! People aren't a means to an end, and neither am I! Kaito, it's stupid to get revenge for a 2,000-year-old grudge! I think what the people from the moon did was wrong too. They made the Extinction Belt. But do you really think it's right to force civilians into this? That is the will of Yakumo Sumeragi. Yakumo this, Yakumo that! He died a long time ago! Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep, deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! Are you referring to cold sleep? Just like Kagura. I was shocked as well when our father first told me. And it was at that same time I realized the destiny that awaits. Grow up. There's so much you need to understand about what it means to be a Sumeragi. Destiny? Who cares? Because it's a 2,000 year old tradition? Because I'm a Sumeragi? It's just an excuse to stop yourself from thinking about it. I'll never be like you. I want to find the truth, evaluate it, and decide for myself. You'll lose the honor of our family name. I don't care. With or without the Sumeragi name, I'm still me. What? Yuito. You. I didn't think you would be so unreasonable. I suppose all I can do is force you to cooperate. I was hoping you'd listen to me, but I guess that's out of the question. Sorry, but I don't plan on getting caught now. You are betraying our father! <sighs> I know I am. But I think Dad would understand. Fool. I have something important to tell you. Can you get to the safe zone? Tell me what? <sighs> All right, let's just get out of here. We'll stand out if we hang around here. We should move to the safe zone.